Hello everyone, this is Darwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Forgecraft with Soren. What's up, buddy? Hello. Hello. I, uh, I finished my resident upgrade auto-crafting last episode, I think. You, you think? Yeah, resident conversion kit. I'm assuming that you took the one that I made. What do we do? What do we not have? Oh, we, we have not I'm a actually... blaze powder. We need blaze powder. And I'm finishing teaching this how to make Enderium. Nice. I'm going to uh, pulverize some blaze powder. So I assume we have a So did you know yeah. that um, yesterday, or I guess last time, we had an error with refined storage? Nope. We referred to nine versions the last time we were playing. What do you mean? Like refined storage was no longer up to date. It was, it was at 0.17. They were at 0.7 or 0.8. Okay. And now today we're fixed it. But that means all the ore dictionary recipes you had set up that day were not working. Oh, really? So I was like, ah, let's just show Dire System, show it, it's not working. Come over here. All of the ore dictionary was just broken. It's like, okay, well, this is, this is madness. That's a shame. So I tried fixing it and we managed to fix it and then it got updated. Oh. If there was ever a first world problem, this would probably be one of them. Right? So I see you put a redstone furnace over here. That's cool. Yeah, because uh, the signalum and lumium, the blocking mode, the blocking mode works a little bit differently than we're used to. Yes. It doesn't look at the inventory since there's inventory in it. It waits until the item gets back. Right. And then sends the next craft. So ah. It, it wasn't looking at the. Works. Yeah, it wasn't looking at the inventory. It just doesn't have that as a furnace recipe. It does not work with other furnaces. Okay. I don't know why, but it wasn't working with a vanilla furnace either. Sweet. So I think that's a bug on thermal expansion side. I, it absolutely could be. Machine in use is something as a machine in use. Thermal induction smelter doohickey. Why does it think the induction smelter is a machine in use? What was it crafting last? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it not blocking mode. Which one? If there's more than one thing, like if it's an uneven proportion, leave it blocking mode. Yeah, I guess so. Hardened glass. I guess we do need hardened glass to be in blocking mode, don't we? That's like one of the ones that we actually needed to be in blocking mode. Yeah. <laughs> so I can cancel this real quick and let's just see. Actually, it's, it's gone. Is it? Okay, cool. The change when you put that recipe back in, that was interesting. It's currently processing Something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Harding glass. glass. Nice. I think it just needs to be refreshed. Sweet. Sweet. We have a conversion kit. I'm going to ask for four more. Uh, and for that, we need more nickel ingots. I think that thing is an ore dictionary thing. Yeah, if anything in the crafter needs ore dictionary, we have to reset that because. It was really broken the other day. Yeah, what does it need so to for? I or dictionary it. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the hardened upgrade kit requires invar, and that needs nickel. So I must have put that on induction smelting line, maybe? Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, I moved it to dictionary. Okay. Cool. And let me know when it's up. Should be good. Looks good to me. Now let's see if I can make like five of these. Sweet. So that might work. We'll see. Uh, so while that's cooking, I want to make the thing that I can use fuel for. So refined fuel from thermal foundation can go into the compression dynamo. So we're going to see how good of a power gen this is. Alright dude, so I've got a compression dynamo. Let's go sit okay. back down here by the, by the fuel source. Oh, you've already got a compression dynamo. Why do you already have a compression dynamo down here? You built it. Did I? Yeah. 
Doesn't seem like me. <laughs> you were ahead of the game, but you built it. You you have a video, I think. Well, I just upgraded it, so now it's augmented. So now we're going to want the augments that make things better. So augment auxiliary reception increases maximum power usage. That's not. Is that the one that we want for the? If you want speed. Power gen. The one for power oh, gen uh... is different. Isn't it? Mm, greatly increases power generation and efficiency. Only refined fuel can be utilized. Uh, bottom right of all the ignition plugs, I think. Gotcha. It does say less energy RF is produced by fuels. Increases power generation RF per tick, right? The auxiliary transmission coil? That's the one we're looking at, right? Uh, sorry, I was looking at the... Yeah, we're going to want more auxiliary. Ignition plugs. That was a specialization. Oh, okay. There's a lot of augments here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that works too. So that should be cool. Uh, and that gives us a maximum power of 600 RF per tick. So like, how, I guess, useful is that for you? Well, 600 RF per tick. Uh, right. Let me see what this does with the, there's an ignition plug as well. That, are you using refined fuel? Yes. Okay, so I'm curious to see what that gives. Because it greatly enhances Refined fuel generation. Oh, well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But it's only refined fuel, so I'm glad we're using yeah. that. Well, yeah, that's what we're using. So, yeah, well, it greatly increases power generation and efficiency. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely. Um, so, the the one on the bottom is the one that I installed the four auxiliary augments. Yeah. So, yeah, so I saw that after you. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's a thing too. Yay. Nice. So, you're making the gear and the plate and all that? Mm hmm. Hey, we have a resonant conversion kit completed. That's cool. So that's interesting. We just ran into an issue where blocking mode didn't work so well. Ran into an issue of what? The induction smelter had an enderium ingot and sand in it. Is that what's supposed to be in there? No, I don't think so. Why are there two endearing ingots in here even? That is weird. I should send the blend and then... Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna cancel this and make a few more. Okay. Working out the bugs, guys. Working out the bugs. So you should be making signal ingots, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it's doing that. Nice. It's still trying to do... What recipe even is that? Two endearium blend plus one red sand yields endearium ingot. Why are you trying to do that? Endearium blends? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Is Enderium blend or dictionary somehow with Enderium ingots? I don't know. That's weird. That was the recipe I got there. That's the only reason I would expect that. It's weird. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, that's the recipe. I've got more conversion kits, so that's good. I want to upgrade all these machines. Okay. And then I want to get Auxiliary reception coils, which increases machine processing speed. And we're going to want 16 of them. Did you put the endearium ingots in the system? Uh, me? No, I think I left them in the induction furnace. Okay. And I want to see how fast we produce fuel with this setup. So this will use a hefty amount of power. 
<laughs> uh, like a hefty, hefty amount. Like more than this can handle, so we're actually going to need to remove these guys. Because each of these needs 300 RF a tick, so we need 1200 RF a tick. Oh wait, Hardened Fluid Duck can totally handle 1200 RF a tick. Um, I'm probably going to need, if I don't have one already. I have a link card to a power cell, so if I just make a power cell I should be able to do this. And I put the link card in there. Nice. That'll do. That'll do. So now we get out some coal. Let's see how fast this is. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. It's pretty fast, dude. It looks like Enderium Ingot and Enderium Dust are word exchanged. That is weird. So can we do coal or like blocks of coal here? Is that something that can work? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Nope. So let's do this. Exporter. We're missing cables. Your system doesn't know how to craft cable, Soren? Come on now. Which system? Uh, remember, we backported a couple versions, so the recipe might have changed too. Yeah. So did we go backwards, or are we back on the latest now? We're back on the latest. We went backwards. Do we know why we back. went backwards? Not a clue. <laughs> Even Raul was like, wait, what version are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Because <laughs> he'd been updating, so I was like, uh... Did you make that augment, or was I making that augment? I guess I'm making it. We're, I'm going to make it, but we're trying to figure out the problem with the Enderium thing right now. Because that seems to be affecting us overall. It doesn't seem to be word dictionary that's pro- oh, there we go. Yeah. We have we have all the stuff to make it. We just missed the hardened glass. <laughs> there you go. There's your upgrade below you. I think I just finished. Well, I thought I had finished making all the stuff. It's, I need. it's below you. I guess you just okay. <laughs> yeah. I was making all the composite parts. Uh, so if we bump this guy in here, it goes up to 760 R if it take. Which is pretty good, actually. How much is it made? 760 per dynamo. Mm, that's... How much are your how much, how much are your culinary gens making? 840 right? per culinary. Oh. So not So that. I'm trying to figure out how long does that last per fuel? Uh well we can turn it on and find out. Like I'll here, let me do this. Because that will change a lot of it. Uh in fact, let me do that and then the fuel should all drain in there. Um, so there's currently four buckets of fuel. So you ready to turn it on and see what happens? Sure. So, oh, it needs uh, it needs water. Hold on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it needs water. Do you have water inside your thing? I'm guessing no. Don't think so, but I have water next to your things now. That works. <gasps> Magic! <laughs> I'll do a transfer node with the world interaction. I'm assuming that works. I should, yeah. 
what's it called now? It's called something else. Mining upgrade. And he's actually made that upgrade do quite a few things now. Um, yeah. It does water, but it also now does snow. So you put it next to a snowman kind of thing. It'll pick up snow without breaking the block. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. That was because I was like, there's no alternative to this, and everything else breaks the block and makes it re-render. He's like, okay, I can add that. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Resonator. That is fast, sir. I think we already have speed upgrades. Do speed upgrades help? Well, I guess we'll... Yes. We'll find out. They do. I guess, like, we don't... I don't know if we need it or not. I don't know how much water this uses. Probably not. That should be cool. All right, here goes. Mining upgrade. You're getting water. So I'm going to activate this thing and see how it does. So we have a net gain on water, so we're actually pretty good here. Um, we need we less power. In our... Oh, that's why. There's not a link card in there. No, you had it. A... Oh, okay. Huh. That might be interesting as well. I'll go burn some of our RF. Okay, I'll install the link card here. Just evaporate a few thousand RF. Yeah, so thus far we've used. Two millibuckets. You know what I should do if we want to actually like more accurately measure this is have like a empty power cell that we pipe this into. That'd be good too. Yeah, why don't I do that so that we can accurately measure the amount of RF we get. So I'm going to, whoops. Ignore. Yeah, there's five power cells and they're not linked. Cool, 4,000. And these store how much each? Four million? Mm, four hundred. Uh, yeah, four million. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to try to get to the point where it does like, you know, one bucket's worth of fuel, and we'll see how much it produces. We'll be back in a minute when this is done. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so we've used. 700 millibuckets so far, and we're sitting around 1.6 million-ish. Uh, my, my guess here is that we're going to be somewhere between 2 and 2.5 two and million RF per bucket. Um, so yes, it definitely lasts longer than a potato, and I don't know how quickly it's going to use up the fuel that we're producing, though, like if it's going to be a net gain or loss, and if we'll need more of these fractioning stills and machines. Fractioning still seem to be the slowest part of this build. If you, I, I upgraded the machines as fast as they can be, and everything's pretty fast. But it's the first fractioning still that's the slowest. Yeah. Um, the thing to note about the potatoes, though, is that we get about two potatoes per garden cloche. And yeah. because I have a augment in, we get two po cooked potatoes per potato. That's cool. So, yeah, while you do... Use less than a potato. I don't know if there's any limit on potatoes here. So I think my guesstimate was right because mm -hmm. we just used our bucket and we're sitting around 2.5 million RF. And we just used the next 100 mil bucket. So 2.5 million RF per bucket of fuel. So I defer to you, sir, on whether or not that is um, a sufficient power source to augment your existing power sources. But this line works. Okay. So, you yeah. know, charcoal or coal goes into the pulverizer, it gets magma crucible, it gets fractioning stilled, and it gets fractioning stilled again. Uh, and that produces large amounts of RF. I think the biggest question here is how much or how many compression dynamos with the current augments could we use with the number of fraction stills we, and everything we have over here? What's if I had to guess, like we're producing about 100 millibuckets every... So let me like start a timer here, right? So if I bring up a timer... Every five seconds it seems. That does seem about right. Um, I'm looking inside the production suit. Yeah. So if I'm looking at Two. this guy. Two. Three. Okay, every four seconds about. 
So I'm going to say somewhere around 15 to 20 seconds for it to use 100 millibuckets. So what'd you say about five seconds for three to four seconds for creating? Okay. So like somewhere between five to eight, maybe. Okay. Uh, fracturing uh, stills. So, you know, if we took the low end of that estimate, right, we rounded a little bit, uh, we'd be at 800 uh, and we're about to run out of power storage inside our cell here just filled up. But like say 800 times five. So you could be around 400,000, 4,000, right? Is it? Yeah. I think sure. 4,000 Arbitec. How useful is that? No, I mean, all the RF stacks over time, so it's good. Ah, see a cow. He was looking at me funny. He's a mushroom. He looks funny in general. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that would act, that's actually probably a really good power source for more early to mid-tier game. Not, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not where we're at, right? Like, what you need for all the silly things that you're running in your base. You need huge amounts of power. Um, but yeah, that's think... not bad, actually. No, it's not bad. I, I'm just trying to figure out... I would say probably mid-game, because early game... Uh, it's a lot of resources you probably to don't get have to that point, yeah. Magma Crucible would probably be your issue. But it's definitely a... The processing makes it so that coal is just better, right? Yes. So it actually gives a reason to use coal. <laughs> right. Right. You got it. So it's 100 millibuckets per piece of coal, basically. Um, so 10 pieces of coal becomes 2.5 million RF. That's not bad at all, okay. right? Compared to what yeah. you normally get out of coal. Yeah, we've had to use red coal to make that actually worth it too. So Right, even at that point, right? Like it's... It doesn't matter, right? So steam dynamo, a piece of coal, you get 32,000, so it would be 320,000. So by processing it, you get a lot more. So that's neat. All right, good to know. So what's your main power source right now then? Just all these potato gen things? Most of these, these potato gens, if we dip down below, I don't remember if I left the uh, lever on for a rainbow gen. Oh, okay. That's like an emergency power. Gotcha. So that just triggers if your power gets low kind of thing. Yeah, and I, I've been leaving it off every time, so we're actually been mostly potatoes. Nice. That's cool. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. All right, Soren, so what's the verdict on the compression dynamo? Cool, but more mid-tier, and we're more late-tier for this scenario where we're Yeah, right I, I think we could use it. It's just that you wouldn't see it noticeably on our power yeah. system. Like, so what you could do... You could use it to augment your potato gen, right? Like before, so like have yeah. three tiers of power gen, right? Like potato is tier one, that's just kind of always running. And then if you drop to like 80% power on the, have you figured a way to read the power lines out of here yet, by the way? We have X in it if we really want to do that. Does that work? You can read the exact amount, yeah. You can't, nice. I don't think you read a percentage, but you can figure it out on right. your own. Yeah, I mean, you can just say less than, you know. So what's this total hold in your setup here, right? It's. 328 million, right? So if you say, like, if it gets below 300 million, then I know we're starting to lose power. So then kick on, by a redstone signal, a bunch of compression dynamos. And then if it drops below 2 million, then activate the rainbow gen or something like that, or 1 million. That would right. probably be a neat way to do it. And that would actually be really compact to do with XNet as well. Like It would be. Yeah. Relatively you, you just have one cell that has information. Yeah. Because all the cells share data, right? So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They they share their power lines. So that, that would actually be kind of cool. Um, actually, um, so with the culinary gens, right? If you have, if the culinary gen is full, it stops the progress of potato where it's at. I'm wondering correct. about that with the compression dynamo. Uh, it should, yeah. Let's turn it on. I'm pretty sure it does that. So it's running now. So you can see, like, far with it, so. so, like, take a look at the energy tab. Not only does it, like, do that, but it also throttles its energy output. So it lowers the amount of RF production it does. 
Ah, okay. See. So wait, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So like what we could do here is just so for the sake of demonstration purposes, if I put this linked cell, I'm gonna borrow that. So you're 329 now. Now does it drain all the RF at one? No, it does it does oh, slowly. Okay. Right. So we're gonna need connectors there. And we're also gonna need another Okay. Connector. Here. Can you snag me one of those wireless plug things? So you're gonna be okay. logic. And on this guy, we'll create energy less than 300,000, output white. And then on this, we'll create, There's a, there you go. And we'll say output signal strength 15 white. Cool, and that should be good now. So like that's pretty much all there is to it. So if I set you to require a high signal, can you do me a favor and make this power drain? So it's 300 yes. million. So less than 300 million output a white signal, sensor white signal output a signal strength of 15. Cool. So as soon as this drops below, um, oh, you put the power card in it. I did. Yes. Oh, okay. I understand. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was making this like That's an actually working system. I understand. I was like, what do you mean? Drop the power. It's not going down. Okay. Should be dropping power pretty fast. Cool. Yeah. 326, 315, 310. <laughs> 305, so it should trigger on in a second now. Uh, it's doing a power output. Nice. So it's actually running. All right, and then stop the power draw loss. Uh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like flew over there. Okay. Cool, and now it's recharging. So then once we get above 300 million, we should be good. Can you flick on your rainbow gen real quick? Uh, I won't come on until we drop enough power. Gotcha. There's no uh, force. I never did make an override switch. So let's. I could probably do this now. It'd be easy. Okay. And that's remember just one servo, right? Like one one compression dynamo. So that would probably be a way to go, Soren. Like you can just expand on what I did here and say, hey, you know, turn on like five or six of them. Because we've already got 54 buckets of refined fuel, and it's still growing. And, uh, and refined fuel production is fully automated, by the way. Like, okay. it'll, it'll fill up this drum. It's fully up and running. Yes, 329. Cool. So, uh, yeah, it's no longer running. So, yeah, that works. So that's what I would do. I would use it to augment your current power system. So more than just having, like, a, you know, stupid crazy amount, just... Throw in a few more compression dynamos and try and augment the demands that your power system has. And hopefully between the potatoes and the compression dynamos and maybe anything else we make, it'll keep it up. Cool. Yeah. Alright, dude. Alright, I gotta run, so Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, we'll be back next time and see what Soren has for us then. Alright, guys. Take it easy.